Hey guys, my name's John. Um, I'm farm manager here at Formosa uh, near Cressy in Tasmania. We run a 1400 hectare mixed farming enterprise and part of that enterprise encompasses using agroforestry, such as the shelter belt you can see behind us, um, to aid and assist our farm management. Um, some of the benefits uh, that we've seen here include stock shelter, lateral groundwater movement and salinity control, um, and just general livestock husbandry. Formosa Farm had seen a period of tree dieback and removal from the 1950s that resulted in a once wooded landscape becoming bare paddocks. Salinity issues started to emerge from a rising water table and the farm was punished with cold, strong winds and weather without tree protection. John and the farm are now reaping the benefits of clever thinking 18 years ago when a strategic and comprehensive system of multi-row shelter belts were planted with the pine tree Pinus radiata. The trees and their benefits have been the focus of scientific research conducted by the CSIRO, Private Forests Tasmania and the University of Tasmania. Many different scientific experiments were set up at different lengths away from the trees that were planted as shelter belts, so they could collect the data and analyse it to see just how well these shelter belts were working. Let's hear from Martin Moroni from Private Forests Tasmania as he explains their tremendous results. G'day. Here we are at the fourth location on the transect at Formosa. We're eight tree links away from the shelter belt, which you can see just over here. In the middle of the sheltered zone, where the pasture here is growing really well. It's growing 30% better than it is of the pasture way out away from the shelter belt. And we know this because we've taken measurements of the grass production along this transect. And we've measured environmental attributes that explain that. We've measured the rates of evaporation through this meter here, and we found that evaporation is greatly reduced. We've measured temperature and moisture through probes here and found that there's a positive impact on the, on the microenvironment. We've measured wind speed and direction from this anemometer and we've shown that across the sheltered area we had a reduction in wind speed by about half, doesn't matter whether the wind's blowing strong or light, half the wind here and that's a big explanation for why the grass has grown so well. We have a solar power that powers all of the data collection and a data logger so that we can record without having to be here all the data that's been collected and then I download the data with my computer, take it back to the laboratory and we analyse it. We're now driving through the sheltered paddock. On our left is the radiata pine shelter belt planted five rows thick. This area of trees occupies around one hectare of land and contains over 250 cubic metres of wood and the results from the science trial are in and found that as a result of the shelter belt, this 24 hectare paddock is producing the same amount of pasture as a 29 hectare unsheltered paddock. Put in dollar terms, this shelter belt adds $63 per hectare or $1,500 across the paddock each year to the farm's gross margin. And this isn't including any financial gains the farm business gets from improved stock survival in cold weather tree carbon storage benefits and the sale of forest products including the timber from these trees once harvested. Of course, landscapes, climates and farm types all have a bearing on how trees can be used in different ways on farms. Join us for another episode to learn how other farmers are successfully putting trees to work and reaping the rewards for the farm business, the environment and all the while producing the ultimate renewable resource of wood.